We're trying out some Bant Shahana here. Kind of a neat design because lifelink is good against aggro and being able to draw cards is good against control. So it kind of covers all of your bases if it can hang out. We've got a core green-white aggro deck with a blue splash for this in the main deck and then some counter spells out of the sideboard. A lot of incidental life gain and things that we have going on to make Shahana uh, trigger and let us draw cards with it. Let's uh, pop on in to some matches of standard with this and see how it goes. Before we get into our first game, I like to plug our sponsor, Green Chef. They're a meal service to your door program, and you can save $135 over your first five boxes with them by using my code POGJEFF135. In addition to getting a discount on your Green Chef purchase, as a special thank you to anybody who uses my code, you can also get a free Magic Arena deck submission here on the stream. So if you're someone that was thinking about donating for a deck, be sure to check them out so you can get some, some sweet meals along with it. This is fine. Hopefully they have something we can brutal cathar to be a follow-up to the Gallagreeters. The new board is lovely. Just lovely. Just peacekeeper here. <laughs> well, they got us, but at what cost? Hey, I think I was going to name, like, Wandering Emperor here. I'll make a uh, treasure token, and then we get to uh, Elspeth next turn. Ow. Rude. It is not symmetrical. It, it does not, Lamp Dead. It's real embarrassing. Wait, the top half is asymmetrical, but the bottom half is symmetrical? Okay, this, like, what the actual fuck? <laughs> what a, what a god, just, what, what fresh hell is this, chat? What? What fresh hell is this? Like, I... <laughs> okay, this just beyond stupid. <laughs> Oh, man. It's just too funny. I'll be your shield.
just like bump up the jam, right? Let's just pump once and then we'll put flying on our life linker and start getting in. Be brave. So they obviously could attack back and crack my planeswalker off the board, but much too little too late here all right I'm gonna board out the peacekeeper and bring in the circle of confinement all right maybe we leave a peacekeeper in our sideboard doesn't seem to be well set up for white aggro. Maybe we want a third circle of confinement for the creature matchups. Our Delver decks on the radar now that standard rotated. I am always happy to go 04 with the Delver deck for a deck donation. And right now you could utilize Green Chef to get some food with your deck donations. That way you'll have something to misery eat while you're sad that your archetype is unplayable. What does this attack mean? Oh, it's a Ganjo. Good call. Uh, honestly, uh, Andrew, I think it's more playable since Phoenix got nerfed out of the format. I think the removal of Phoenix from the format was good for it. So let's do this. Grab a planes. And then we get a Trippin' Adversary. Let's meme cannon. Sounds good. I'm gonna add it to the cube. Assume they're gonna kill this with the thing, but that's fine. Safe now. 
This thing has a shield counter on it. This has first strike. We are, in fact, missing some of the audio chat. So we do this, and then we give this first strike? And we put Adeline on some borrowed time? We're, we're actually just like, we're actually fine, right Chip? Giving Elspeth the Destructible doesn't do anything, correct. Wait, what if I do this? And then we'll give this one first strike as well. I think I want to start buffering my life total, pressuring them and drawing cards here. They do have some inevitability with Katilda here now too. So I do I do want to get this card. You want to get this game, sorry, over with. Okay, Circle of Confinement takes the Katilda off the board, which is great. the innate could kill the innate could kill the borrowed time that's true all right i am gonna go ahead and restart the client here really quick or make my face big for a second while we do that to uh get our audio back it did take several hours for the audio to start bugging out so a restart seems like it's probably worthwhile here get this get this going Thanks everybody for hanging out today, by the way. Great to see almost 900 people in here for some release day magic. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I stream a bunch here on Twitch. We play Magic and Pokemon Unite, Marvel Snap, and a handful of other games. Usually we do two or three Magic decks every single day, Monday through Friday, when I'm here. If you're looking to catch up on everything that I've done after the fact, I have a YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Jeff Hoagland where I cut everything up deck by deck and upload them to playlists for each of the formats you can find on the front page there. We do pretty much all constructed for magic gear, standard, alchemy, historic, explore, etc. It's our second standard deck of the day. We also did a little bit of explore earlier. Obscene Sanity, thank you for the 51 months. Welcome back. Oh gosh, I didn't even think of not being able to log back in. I'm glad I'm glad that worked, I guess. Is that hashtag sometimes lucky?
Got a little Grixis action here. Declines the trade. Lay out the terrifying blade here. No mana to pay for it this turn, obviously. Mr. Adversary. I just want to get the blade down here. this march aggressively so I can hit them and draw a card. Kinda like a rummage. Gosh, the artwork is gorgeous. We got a hook, line, and sink of chip. Definitely feeling their mana base here a little bit. Some of the triomes got effects. Others, others did not. Powerful won't help. I'll do it myself. Thanks. I'll be taking that now. Untapped lands, actually kind of a banger draw here. Because I'm going to Wandering Emperor, obviously, and Combat Trick this. And then we get to, uh, I get to draw two here at end of turn. Thanks to our extra land. Something you don't know. Our opponent's tires are spinning, shit. Do I Elspeth to kill their Saito? It means I draw less. I guess this forces Evelyn or Kaido off the board. Yeah, I, think, I think I just attack for five and then draw five. We just we just take we just take our five cards, right? Alright, yeah. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. I think I think I'm pretty sold too. I was a little medium on this, looking at uh looking at it during the spoiler, and it seems uh it seems quite good, chat. Quite quite reasonable. Draw, draw five. Lock it in, shit. I'm in. Yeah, right, minimum effort? Thanks for the biddies. I want more Planeswalkers. Extra Peacekeeper might be fine.
I see some people in chat suggesting that our legendary generates removal check gameplay. But that can't possibly be true because Wizards bans that kind of stuff out of their formats. Come on now. I have a removal check gameplay in my Magic the Gathering. Please. No blocks. The problem if I sleeper agent is that um, if they kill this, they just attack this and kill it. So I think I want to just march the blood tithe harvester this turn. Cut them off with a free card draw with Kaido. Also exiles, so they can't like corpse harvester here. I've got all kinds of connections. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm down to Johnny on four here. It can be your pride, as it is mine. Every day, more rally to our glorious cause. A glorious cause. Glory be to the sleeper agent. Now this is Paw Gracie. What's going on, Bez? For the 32 months, welcome back. Struggle. <laughs> There's no secret I can't uncover. It's done to your boy. They upgraded him. He is completed. What a lovely, what a lovely a Johnny boy. What a lovely a Johnny boy indeed. You wish you were half as lovely as a Johnny chat. Bell Pierce, oof. Phyrexia will last more. Slipping behind here a little bit. Harvester here. Oh, that's much worse for us. What's going on, Jetto? Thanks for the 22 months. Welcome back. Definitely dead to run Elspeth here.
I still have the eerie silence in between matches as we wait for Magic Arena to soothe us once more with its wonderful sounds. Seems fine. I think with the ambitious farmhand, I assume spread a headquarters here is gonna be a spell. Yes, the pathways are gone, which is big sad. Peacekeeper. All right, so I was thinking about offering a trade here, but with corpse service, sorry, corpse appraiser in hand, that's obviously not something I'm interested in doing anymore. Oh, they can just sack it. That's fine. Maybe if this is a sequence, I'd rather name Corpse Appraiser than Kaido. It's close though. Peacekeeper is a sweet design. Other than the fact that Peacekeeper is half symmetrical, I like its design. Two blood tokens. We're going to be able to go after one of my peacekeepers here. We just chill for now. Probably cycling the headquarters at end of turn. The one on Corpse Appraiser. I think we keep that alive here. I think so. Yeah, this, this gives Hexproof in addition to Destruct Walls, so it saves it from here. And remember, chat, if you're ever sitting at home and you're thinking, you know what else could use a little bit of Cameo's protection? My internet connection? Think about securing it with NordVPN by heading on over to nordvpn.com forward slash Jeff Hoagland to save yourself some money while doing so. You gotta get, you gotta get the context shells in where you can, champ. I think we give up our treasure token to cycle through the headquarters here. It's a little unfortunate that we don't have a way to flip the farm hand over yet. I think we're besaging the fable here. We're kind of we're kind of out of gas though. <laughs> Thanks for the mini spell slinger. want to just make all our land drops it also makes this easier to cast and the more lands we have later when we gain life the better <laughs> I 
Ah, uh, pseudo -dim. No joke, that really is the best thing about things like Green Chef, though. Christy, Christy and I have done way more cooking since we started doing meal box things like Green Chef. Was always, cooking was always something we wanted to do a little bit more of. We just, like, didn't have the bandwidth to, like, seek out good recipes or exactly what we were getting ourselves into. So knowing that there's, like, a ready source that only ships you the ingredients, but also has menu cards, you know, cooking cards ready to go is great. Even if we draw Shahana at this point, we're uh, we're still pretty behind, right? We we need like a an Elspeth or a we need like an Elspeth or a uh, an Elspeth into a Shahana is probably our best. I wasn't paying too much attention, but I think I heard Christy and I have been doing way more cocaine. Nope, not. Not quite on that one. All right, Gala Greeters makes a natural Shahana off the top a little bit better. Because she'll get to Divination at least. She has so many cards in hand. Maybe we want... I think I'm going to shove a fourth Elspeth in the board for these types of matchups. It's probably better than the third of Johnny. Hey, Carlos, thanks for keeping up the Prime sub. I appreciate the 40 months. Welcome back. Afternoon. Isn't there a blue card that lets you draw X for X? Sure. What of it? <laughs> oh, magic. We're probably done here with their whole setup at this point. Uh, they played Evelyn main phase. So they wanted to make a land drop with her. So it worked out quite well for them. So. We started with a Jundan Historic. And then by the time I made changes to the deck. It looked like Tarmogoyf was bad. And then we were just an Explorer deck. So we just played Red Black and Explorer. The addition of Liliana the Veil to this platform might just be enough that, like, Goyf is kind of edged out. I don't know. We'll probably do it for posterity's sake here at some point. I don't, I don't know that it's... Oh, I forgot to put the Elspeth on the board. But yeah... White man is special here. What modern cards are we missing? You mean from like classic modern Jund? Yeah, like Bob and Decay, basically. Bloodbraid Elf, Bloodbraid Elf. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a green one. Oh, we talked about this one, Shay. This card's actually pretty good. Yeah, modern, modern Jund and modern is definitely a, eh, the old Ragavan deck. But I, I assume they're referring to like classic Boomer Jund. Locks here. Classic Boober Judd, I want to cry in the shower like Tobias after I try it out. <laughs> oh, man. I think this is the line. No. That's close. So it could be right to just like adversary gain two off of gala greeters and then draw draw a couple that way because this does let them pressure my wandering emperor but i think i'm also okay with that oh wow they're on four colors I'd trade with the pack leader before they play things to make it bigger. See you later. I think this card's super reasonable. It's a 4-3 trample reach for three that then flashes itself back down the line. an island in their deck show me basic island there is an island in their deck holy crap well then they look to be mono green domain so far yeah here brawling Gonna draw three. Ah, uh, it's a large land shit.
All right, so... What if we just block here? We end up at 13. And then we could play this. Gain two life, draw two cards. Blocking, might as well attack. Okay. All right, 15. She draws a lot of cards, Chet. Just so many cards. Oh, wow. They didn't, uh, they didn't attack. Deal. May your blade strike true. I don't know, I'm playing around Wandering Emperor as a ghost. Card gets telegraphed relatively hard. They could have double blocked there if they were ghosting and they didn't, so. Pretty inclined to think that they're not. Draw six cards! I guess if you're gonna twist my arm about it. And the discard for? Pretty unlucky. Never, never lucky, Chet. Yeah, just incredible, Mana Sig. We'll trade this one off and gain three here. Our opponent's quite the trooper, chat. My judgment is final. Grinding them out the Pantagro. Do 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 Emperor is fun in a shell like this, that's for sure. I guess they probably don't have much removal, so we pull safekeeping out rather than some of these others. 
<laughs> they did deny us some sweet succulent card draw with that concession. We were, we were denied cards, unfortunately. Five cards hand hands go. This one seems pretty reasonable. What's going on, Anaplactic? Thanks for hanging out for over two years. Welcome back. Good afternoon. I saw someone on Twitter post the hot take that they thought Joda was one of the best cards since four color Omnath. In standard, and I was like, "There's, there's no way that's true, huh?" Let me just pass and flip this over. Joda's busted in EDH, sure. Sure, Most a lot of five color commanders are good there though, right? want to try and sequence Shauna so we get to draw a card with her the first turn we play her probably but I also kind of need to protect my wandering emperor right we must protect the people we have another fight spell we're kinda out of gas here, is the concern. It seems like a Jota seems like a fine removal check card. I agree with that. Well, I need to draw a creature or a way to gain life next turn to be able to fill our hand up. If they make this attack, I trade my two knight tokens for their wandering, for their uh, open world oddity. Wow, 
blocking and my Magic the Gathering. Okay, so this is actually a fine draw because it lets me attack with her. So now I get to draw three cards. Good note in general, if you're ever wondering what format we're playing on this stream, I always put the first letter of the format's name in parentheses inside of deck names. You do exclamation point deck, the deck name should be uh, on the untapped. All right, they found a removal spell, but not before we drew three here. We got a, we got a shot, I think. Draw a card with this to start, see where we end up at. Circle protection. Okay. So borrow time, the green widow, and pass back here, I think. Attack them for two here. We are a little bit ahead in terms of tempo here. They have another oddity to haste to kill my emperor. We could be in trouble, but otherwise, we're en route to stabilization. Afternoon sunshine. want to try and pressure him out of the game. I think I'd rather lose my Gala Greeters or lose my Emperor than my Gala Greeters just because having the Greeters hanging out in play means if we draw Shahana, she gets to draw us two cards. It's being Ascendancy on the radar to revisit. Yeah, maybe. The card felt kind of powerful before it just got pushed out of the last format. I guess that's There's no more thing. Opus to go over the top of it, which is one of its problems. Ascendancy be added to this deck. I don't know that Ascendancy really solves problems that we have. What issue do you think we're having that adding Ascendancy solves? We're not really uh, specifically a go wide deck, right? More cards on board here. No, none currently, Sanity. We'll pass the turn here to get our Moon Rage Brute to flip over to a first strike side. They draw a fight spell. Nope. I think they're just trying to make sure they don't flip this back by mistake. 
Wait, what? No, opponent, that's you. Uh, thank you? Question mark? Okay, pass the turn. Back to, back to my first strike side. Definitely drawn a lot of lands. I think I just chill until, cause I want to hold otherworldly light. I don't want to play it out proactively. I don't think I want to use it to stop one of their fight spells. So I'm going to chill on this for the time being since the board's kind of stabilized. So we can uh, draw another spell with it to flip this move range brute back. Another nice one as well. We've been pretty unlucky lucky to be fair, Violet. Like we're 35 or 25 cards into my deck, and we've drawn one of our seven pieces of card advantage, right? Like, in addition to four Shahana, we also have uh, three copies of Elspo. So, I, I agree with you. It's felt that way. But also, when I look at the details of, like, what's actually happened during these games, I don't feel like, oh, my deck needs changes. Just like, oh, we've run statistically very unlikely. What's going on, Cody? We do have a lot of gas, gas, gas. That is, that is true. I don't think I... Am I supposed to play the Emperor out? Maybe. counter on our 4-4 and gain two more. And then obviously both of these Moon Rage Brutes are about to transform. Circle of Confinement is going away, sure. Also wants them to draw a card. They are no longer clueless. I'm glad that we decided to play to the board this turn, so that way we could exile some more stuff. I wonder if they're debating on if they want to crack the clue because they're not sure. Then the triumph of the deck, so if we draw it as a land, we can cycle it. Yeah, that's a good thought. I don't need the color fixing from it.
take their, uh, their tramplers away here. And then next turn, we'll just, like, get to pass again with the Emperor and removal spells up and flip them back to three threes. Just, like, just pop back and forth like a jump rope here. Clean their board out. Brutal. Brutal Cathar is definitely aptly named in situations like this. Uh, the patch was kind of broken for like the first hour or so. So this is the only, only the third deck we've played in five hours. Lot of besieges, chip. Okay. Here we are out of lands for besieged again. That's true. These brutes being first strikers also just like locks down the board so hard that way too. Okay, this is about where you find Shauna and bury them, right? May your peace last. Uh, they're splat- they're playing a bunch of domain cards in their deck, chat. Yeah, they- they were like, kinda treading water for a little bit, but... The game is decidedly over now. Could have exiled their blocker and swung for lethal in the air. Whoa, whoa now. Well, I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down, okay? I'm not sure if you're aware, but my line drew four cards. Just so, just so we're clear what's going on here. When you consider the lethal via combat damage line, did you consider instead crushing your opponent's will to continue playing the game and making them concede? a high barrier to re-entry chat rotation is when arena's at its absolute cheapest to get back into and it would only cost you to build oh oh no oh no that that number can't be right never mind i understand your point A 
have slipped out the back into something a little more comfortable. I have a feeling our opponent's deck is about to make our card draw look a little embarrassing and slow, chat. We need to draw an untapped land. Well, I guess we didn't need to. Emperor already tags us. But I think we do this now before they can untap. Obviously, my Emperor is going to die on the backswing, but I need to get rid of there. Curious obsession creature here. What you get for hurting my people. I don't think they're taking this trade, so I'm going to offer it. They didn't have Tamiyo save queue. I mean, yeah, we weren't we weren't in a position to be able to play around it. I guess that's that. Wow, get torched by spec. Oh no! And it phases out my Shauna too? Oh gosh. Oh man, what an unmitigated disaster. It, it all went to crap so fast, chat. Can I, can I get a do over to make my thing into a 2 2 by playing this pre combat? Like, I would like a mulligan on the previous combat sequence. Thank you. Please stop. I just need to borrow time their storm chaser here. I cannot believe we are grinding this game. It's actually just kind of absurd. Draw two more, thanks. Your move. Your go, Yugi boy. 
Until next time, then. Oh, I should have done this the other way in case they have a spell pierce. I give them two looks of spell pierce. We're probably still far enough ahead, even if they draw a counter spell here, but. It's worth noting I sequenced this wrong. I'll be your shield. Grand baby, grand. Dee 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 dee. Beep beep dee 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 dee. It was it was kind of impressive. I agree. I think I uh need to put a. I think I'm gonna switch stances and confinements. I think I want. I'll bring in one one stance. Definitely more more removal spells here. I think I want anointed peacekeeper. Yeah, yeah, we board stall and then we kind of take off, huh? We're solidly a mid-range deck, Lampton. Like, some aggressive draws, but also... Want more mana here? Get Gallic readers into play. This triggers their ledger shutter. Kind of feels like we're up a creek without a paddle here. It's gonna provide a pretty endless set of card selection. Man, is mono is mono blue back, chat? Certainly that certainly feels like mono blue is back. A curious obsession, right? My threat to victory. Okay. From bottom stance at Elspeth. Keep the rest of these. Hope to spike your green. Stormwing Drake is definitely very good. That is for sure. Okay.
cast a spell and target a single other creature other than this. Yeah. So they put like a curious obsession on the shredder. Targets both. Yeah, I think spell, spell thief seems pretty good. I like the look of their deck a lot. They get to play a bunch of a bunch of pretty good mana too. Do this so we can hold up safekeeping here. That's true. They do also get a safekeeping for their IV, but obviously I need to gain life here and draw cards. So let's do this and hope for the best. I just left them untap while I had March. <sighs> Our protection spell. Stop at my instep, shit. That's, that's so frustrating that Magic Arena does shit like that. be in it despite that and I will you are not much of a roadblock I draw a card here rather than safekeeping one for every non land I put in my deck as a child it was fine while we were mana weaving. L O L. We are solidly en route to winning this game. The card advantage on Purifying Blade is just like nuts. Game in and game out. Just like, yeah, that's that's what happened. Yep, yep, that's, yep. You know, three more. Put some more gas in the tank. Okay. Yeah, I mean, life gain and card draw, right? Like, one of you covers your aggro basis, one of you cover your control basis. 
All right, a couple of little details to clean up. I think the last Elspeth is probably better than the third Ajani, just because she helps us get to Shauna so consistently. And then I think I want one more Circle of Confinement over the third Valorous stance. It's because against the aggressive decks, I felt myself wanting more removal. The new Dragon Saga is really good, Glimgleb. I think the core of the main deck seems pretty reasonable, though. Um, and this is, honestly, this feels like the type of thing that's a, a very reasonable week one deck, where, like, we have this kind of proactive game plan where we get to attack people and it's reasonable, but we also have this kind of go bigger with interaction plan that's good too. March of the Otherworldly White also felt very reasonable inside of this archetype just because we draw so many cards, we don't mind pitching things for tempo. Um, Peacekeeper was probably the most mediocre card in the deck, but we also didn't run into that many control shells, and I think this is probably pretty good into decks that are playing sweepers and stuff, so... Okay, I would play more games before writing this card card off, but this is definitely what I'd be want to be thinking about as we're playing for is this uh is this something that's worth continuing to do or not?